What is up, everybody? This is Eric, the one and only Bay Area Collector, and today <laughs> I'm going to be reviewing, I haven't done this in such a long time, I'm going to be reviewing a Transformer, but it's not a Transformer, it's a bootleg um, Transformer, and it's a very interesting one, um, and that one is the powerful Hero Gun Storm Warrior, which is, of course, a Megatron knockoff. Yes. <laughs> when was this released? And they have different colors too. Of course, I grabbed the one that was closer to Megatron. Um, and yeah, the box has a little bit of a glare now that I'm looking at it right now, shiny. Um, and, and I want to say I bought this one at AliExpress, either Timu or AliExpress. I want to say AliExpress and it only cost me like a couple of bucks. It was rather cheap. Um, and in the box, of course, you see, you know, your typical, you know, warning. Of course, it says it's for ages three and up. I am going to tell you right now, do not, do not, and I repeat, do not give this to a three-year-old. Do not. Unless your three-year-old is rather advanced. <clears throat> Any typical three-year-old kid no, because one, this thing is so fragile, it'll probably break. And two, it has small pieces that even for a three-year-old, I'll be scared to give this. I have a, my daughter's um, three as of the making of this video. And she's pretty slick and pretty, you know, as far as knowledgeable about not putting things in her mouth or whatever. I will not give this to her. Not even to my son who's 10 years old. Not because he's going to put it in his mouth for him, but more because he'll probably break it. I will say this toy will probably be for a kid that's 12 and up. Um, so please, this is very deceiving. So warning, you've been warned. But anyways, um, basically the interesting thing about this one is that it tries to mimic um, Megatron. You see the picture of Megatron. He has his colors like Megatron. But if you see here, he has different colors. It's so different. Maybe I'll, I'll get some repro labels and put the, the Decepticon symbols there. Um, but it transforms into a gun, as you can see here. Interestingly, the scope shows an image on it. So it has like a little light thing. You squeeze it and you can see an image, which is rather weird. Um, but yeah, but let me take this off the box and I'm going to attempt to transform it. Um, give me one second and I shall return. Okay, so here is the figure. Man, this thing is so weak and wobbly, as you can see right there. And it is a mess of a toy. Cool, but a mess. First of all, the head. Um, if you guys can see, of course, Megatron's head is a little different. And of course, they painted it black. Um, is there lead piping? No. Um, I don't think there is, but they painted the face full black when it's supposed to be gray. His face is gray. Um, the cannon part, they kind of got it. Um, there's a gimmick to the cannon part, and I'll do that later. And then, of course, this is where the thing is weak. As you saw when I re released the toy, the it was something like that. It was like this in the package, right? So you have to kind of flip it over, and this piece always falls. And he always gets loose from right there. There we go. I dropped the cannon now. Um, but that's how it, 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 give or take, that's how it goes. And yes, and the feet, you have to pull it forward. And um, it will stand, kind of. Oh, man. Yeah. Let me see. I think it had, no, it does not. Yeah, it doesn't have any. Okay, there we go. Oh man, that sucks. If you can, yeah, just <laughs> um, let me zoom. Let me see if I can zoom in. I'm sorry. Zoom in on the guy. Yeah, nah, that's the best that I can do. Let me put it back. Put the camera back. Um, zoom out a little. There. Yes, but it just it sucks. Very loose, very wobbly. You feel like you're going to break it. Now, I'm going to attempt to transform it. I only done it once. Felt like I was going to break it. If it breaks, 
it breaks. I'll even release the video bro, with the thing broken. Um, but let me see if I could um, attempt to transform it. So first thing we want to do, you want to remove the cannon pieces and you want to remove this part right here. Okay. Um, let me see. So then you want to flip the head inside, hide it. And this is going to be part of the of the gun, the, the part top of the, the gun. Um, let me see. Yes, and then you want to... The arms right here, they kind of turn. I'm going to do that. Because nowhere... The, the, the funny thing is that this thing did not come with instructions. That's another thing. You want to twist it. Same thing as the second one. Whoa, see, I broke it off. Oh, man. Let me see. There we go. So you put it like that, and then you want to... Oh, brother. See how you feel you're going to break it? You want to go... Mm. It feels very off. Let me... There it is. See, there's like a... There it is. Wow. <laughs> Does it slide in? It's a mess. So it kind of, yeah, it kind of bends. Let's see if I could do it here. Yeah. Oh, it releases? Well, that one does, but not this one. Um... It's supposed to be, yeah, you feel like you're going to break it. Yeah, that, that turns into the hand. Let me do this part right here because it's about to fall off. The feet are easy. Remember, you, you went like that and you hit that. Then um, you go like that, you go like that. And that basically makes the handle of the gun. No, the feet. Uh... Okay, there we go. And then the trigger. It's like an accordion if you look at it. Everything's an accordion. Because this piece right here will turn into the trigger. So then, there it is. Well, I got that part right. Right there. Right there. And the other part is the same. Um. Just this piece. This is the part. This is the part that's the hardest. Let me see. There we go. Woo! Okay, let me see if this... Yeah, there... There we go. Jesus Christ. Let me see. Does this one flip? Okay, this one. There it is. What am I doing? Wow. You guys are probably laughing because I'm struggling with this. I had it right the first time. 
if it goes like that. Okay, I'll be back in a second. I'll get figure this out. Oh my goodness, I finally got it done. <laughs> but this is how it looks like. <laughs> what happened was that I thought the arm of the piece went on the opposite end, which didn't. It was the piece of the, the other half of the torso is right here. So then this is part of the arm and then the other arm swung around and it went over here, if you guys can see that. And it, it made the gun. So, and then of course, you know, you take these off, flip them over and you make the handle, you add the scope and then you add the gun and it makes the gun. So it looks pretty neat for what it is. However, man, I felt like I was gonna break the damn thing. If not, I think I broke the other tab. Um, this one right here, I don't know if you guys can see it. Um, it came apart from like right there. This one came apart, but it's not broken. But this one, maybe it broke off. Maybe I broke it, but it is what it is. But it, it'll it always clip on to the, to the robot. So even if you break these, and this is where the weakness of the toy is. Well, part of it is the, the tabs. These tabs right here, the, the height, the, the crotch. Um, and of course, you have to flip the crotch over. So... Basically, you started on this end and you have to flip it over. And that's the reason why it wouldn't go through. But all in all, you know, the robot part of it is not cool. The 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 gun part is pretty decent. I think it's better than that. And of course, that's the gimmick. See? It's like a light. So let me see if you guys can see what it is. It's like a U-boat. Like, not a U-boat. It's like a warship. Man, it actually felt warm on my hand doing this. But yeah, if you guys can see it, yeah, it's like a warship. And that's the image that it has. And that's the gimmick. Um, but yeah. And I think you could put it... It looks like it fits better from the port. Like, if you guys see the port right here, right there, it looks better if you go through there. But because that looks kind of weird. I think it's too close to the thing, so I like to put it there. It looks much better. But anyways, it's kind of like, you know, you're, you know, but yeah, it's not G1 Megatron, but I think for like a few dollars, I think it's cool. But I don't think I'll transform it again. I'll put it back as a robot and leave it in its package. Um, but all in all, what do I think of the of the whole um, thing? It's worth the three dollars if you just if you just want to have a gimmick type thing, not to mess up your Megatron. If you have a G1 Megatron or something else, I don't have a G1 Megatron. I know uh, years ago I showed you guys I bought a knockoff, which that one is a more sturdier one, but I never transformed it because it was a little bit more complex. But yeah, but all in all, <clears throat> I I wouldn't recommend it. Only as a gimmick, it would be a nice little display piece to kind of show off and kind of laugh it off. But nah, I wouldn't, you know, it's up to you guys. Anyways, this has been Eric, the one and only bear collector. Thank God I didn't break the toy. I'll just transform it back. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.